Hi guys, how are you? My name is Mark Jologi Mugai. I am an online tutor. I make online tutorial videos. My YouTube channel is official Mark Mugai. Please subscribe. And you can also like my page on Mark Mugai, Facebook page on Mark Mugai. Please subscribe. Don't miss it. So good morning students, thank God again for another chance God has given us. Now today I want us to look at now conic sectioning, it's a topic in engineering drawing one. And uh, this question is always good marks, as you can see here, uh, it is 30 marks. As you can see from the application, the mechanical module question, it is 30 marks. So if you're able to do this and it's a compulsory question you see section a compulsory question answer all questions in this section so if you're able to answer all these questions so the very first one this is isometric drawing you're supposed to draw this in isometric view and then the second part you, you're supposed to draw this conic section a truncated cone it's a truncated cone which means it is cut and it is has a height of 80 degrees 80 millimeters to draw it 30 marks so you're supposed to draw only three views the plan the development of the truncated cone and the true profile of the hole i will show you all these things please subscribe to my youtube channel as we do this question so the very first thing that you're told even from the question we are told that the the base of the trunk of the of the triangle is 70 of the cone it is 70 the diameter of the cone is 70 it is cut at 30 degrees from its center from a height of 30 30 millimeters so from the bottom going up 30 but from here to here it is 40 because you, it is 50 because you're told the height it is 80 so let us draw the very first thing that you also uh you have to identify very fast and you have to draw it is a reference line like this realize in all videos i've started with the reference line or a reference point then from there now you can maybe identify a reference point or you can maybe start drawing we are told that the that the height of it it is 80 we're told that it has a height of 80 so using your ruler very well you can draw a height of 80 very well and very much correctly using your ruler you can draw a height of 80 so from this particular point here you can maybe decide to draw it uh, with the height of 80 you can decide to name this part so let this be the center line the center line which you're told is 80 let this be the center line up to the bottom part so after that you're told after you've gotten that height you're told that we have a slant height from here but we are told it is 70 you're told that it, it is 70 the base the base it is 70 so it means it is 3.5 on both sides so you measure 3.5 on both sides 3.5 on both sides which will be here and here so from there now we have those two points so having those two points you can now again now draw your 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 triangle like this like that and then stand on this particular point again like this then draw triangle like that so that becomes the cone but we are told that in this particular height now, as you've been, you can maybe project these points. You can project them going downwards like this. There is no crime in doing so. Yeah, yeah, there is no crime in doing so. You can project them like that. So after you've obtained those points, we are told that this cone has been cut here at an angle of 30 degrees, but from a distance of 30 millimeters from the bottom. So 30 millimeters from the bottom. So from this particular point here. You know very well from this point here uh, we are supposed to, 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 to cut it at this point so this will be a 30 millimeters and maybe you can draw using the other side of the truncated cone like this this will be a 30 millimeters so from this particular point here that's when you told that it has been cut from this point here it has been cut at an angle of 30 degrees if you don't know how to cut it at the 30 degrees please follow my steps very much correctly so you have your ruler like this you will turn it like that and you put your put your your work piece on this particular point like this then draw your 30 degrees line so this becomes now it has been cut at this particular point so this is 30 degrees so this now becomes 30 30 degrees uh, 
30 degrees. So at this, at this particular point, as you can see, we have cut it. We have cut it and then you have been told again from this particular point, from here to here, we are told it is, we are told that it is 70, 70 millimeters. We are told that it is 70 millimeters and then from top, from bottom here, from this part here to this part where it has been cut here, that's where now we are told that it is 30 millimeters. That is 30. So we are only supposed to draw this view now into three views. We are supposed to draw one, supposed to draw the plan. Then number two, you are supposed to draw the development. Development. Development of the truncated cone cone then the number three that you're supposed to draw in this particular instance is the true profile of all of all and this is 30 max that is all you're supposed to draw so you're supposed to draw the three views like that so please subscribe to my youtube channel and i will show you now how to draw this question particularly and uh, uh, properly like this thank you so having done that now the next point that we do now it is to it is now first we have to draw the plan the surface development and then the truncated cone so the very first thing we'll have to do will draw the plan so after you have projected your 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 line, your this line, this line, after you have projected it downwards, the very next move, the very next move now that you do, you have now to draw the, the plan, which is very simple to draw, very easy to draw. Please follow my steps and you will see how simple it is to draw and actually answer this question. Some of these questions may look uh, may look difficult because you have not tackled them, but after you have tackled them. These questions are very simple. So we are told from here to here, we are told that it is 70. So definitely our cone, uh, down our cone, our diameter will be 70. But our, our radius is 35. So again, standing at this particular point, after you've chosen a good reference point, maybe at this particular uh, point, you can maybe choose this particular point. At this uh, juncture, you can draw at this juncture like this now. You can now draw your cone. Like this. There's a small error here, I rectified. I said and I've always told you, all these things are made by men and men make errors. So I will not hide anything, I will show you just as it is. Then the very next thing we have to do, we have to now to divide this circle, this base of the cone, into six equal parts, into 12 equal parts, or six equal parts, the way you want it, you can divide it into six or 12, but I will choose 12 equal parts, because dividing it into 12 equal parts is very simple. So, so standing, uh, if you don't know how to divide it, you can always watch this video and you will see. So using the same 3.5 centimeters radius, don't change anything. Stand at this particular point like this, strike an arc up and down, like that. Then using the same, stand at this particular point, strike an arc up and down. Strike another one up and down like that. Then standing at this, uh, standing at this particular point, this up, strike left and right, strike an arc left and right again like that. Then standing again at this particular point, the same radius of 3.5, so can arc left and right. That circle has already been divided into six equal parts. Now what is remaining, it is now to uh, actually now uh, put points passing through each other like this. So that one has to pass through like that. And the next point is this point and this point passing through the middle like this. So it will pass through like that. The next point is this, and the other one at this point, particular point, like this, then passing through at the middle like that. So, and this one also passing through the middle from this particular point and this other point like that. You see, at that particular point, now you've been able. The next thing you name these things, 
either clockwise or counterclockwise. But in this, use clockwise. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You see, you have divided it into twelve equal parts. After you have been able to achieve that, the very next thing now that you do, you have to project these parts, taking them up to the to the apex. To the apex at this point this point that's what we call apex so you stand here again with your ruler standing very much correctly with your ruler at this particular point in juncture you have to project all these points where they are supposed to go so from this point again project now project now this 12 12 point and one up to this point after it have reached this point the next thing you, you project it to the apex from this point and this point up to the apex like that then the next point it is this one three and three and eleven eleven and three eleven and three from this point again here see here again project it up and then at this point when it reaches this point take it up to the apex like that then the next point is ten ten and ten ten and four with ten and four 10 and 4 you see you project it up like that the next point is 10 is 9 and 5 9 and 5 from this point to this point take it up to this point after taking it to this point then project it up to the apex the apex point is at that point like that the next point we have you have 6 and 8 6 and 8 from this point again from this point project it up to this point then from that point again project it up this point and this point then you project it up like that you can see one one and the other one was like that so there you have achieved those two points then after you've achieved those two these two beautiful points uh, 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 all these points like that after you've gotten your points like this projected up the next thing now that you do now we want to draw the cone how it looks like from the plan because the first part of the question says draw the plan so the plan here you have to show how it looks from up so here follow very much keenly and you will see how we do it so the very first point and the first point you drop it it will be like this so first name these points so this one will be our one prime where they intersect with this line baseline the second point it is it is 12 and 2 so this will be 12 prime and 2 prime the that point is this this will be this this will be 11 prime and 3 prime the next point is 4 prime and 10 prime the next point is 5 prime and 9 prime that is 9 prime and 5 prime the next point is 8 prime and 6 prime the next point is 7 prime so and have, as you've gotten these two points like that which is very simple now the next thing and the next move that you do you have now to project all these points going down and going up, which is very simple. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 12 points. So having 12 points, it is very simple. The next thing now you do, you want now to show where they are intersecting. So you stand, you see, on this line, this 30 degree line that intersects. Stand uh, at, at one point here, at this particular point. This is the first point where it is intersecting. There at this particular point where it is intersecting, the one prime, the one prime, and the and the other prime, draw a vertical line. Draw a vertical line. Draw a very vertical line projecting downwards. Where it intersects with one prime. Where do you intersect with this one? So you draw like this. Where they intersect at this point, make a mark like that. Then the next mark where the, the two and the two, two, 12 prime and two prime, where they intersect with this line then you go again with your ruler like this very well at this particular point this point you draw a line drop it where they intersect with 12 and 2 where they intersect with 12 and 2 at this point make a mark then where where that line this line here has intersected with this then draw make a mark go to the next point the next point is there this is 11 prime and 3 prime this line here where intersect with this line at this point here now Again, put your ruler like this to be vertically uh, or perpendicularly with that line then draw a line that is dropping to the 11 number and the, and the number 3 line you see the number 11 this was the number 3 line and this is the number 3 line like that 
The next move you do, you go to the next. The next we have this line, the four prime and the 10 prime. When it intersects with this line, you see at this point, you drop it uh, straight or vertically. Where they intersect with the 10 prime and the 9 prime, as you can see in this particular juncture, they have intersected at this uh, particular place. You again make your mark at this point. You can make your mark at this particular point like that. Then the next part, it is nine, it is nine prime and five prime. Where the nine prime and the five prime intersect at this point, this line, you follow it. The five and the nine follow it up to this point, then go up to the apex. But before you reach the apex, at this point they have intersected. Put your ruler straight like this, then drop it like that. Where you're dropping the line at this particular point, where they intersect with this line, number nine line, and the number five line here at this point, this line, this straight line, you make a mark. The next point, the next line, it is eight prime and six prime. So follow it, six and eight, you follow this line up to this point. Then you follow it up to the apex. Before you reach the apex, they have intersected with this line. Where they are intersecting at this uh, particular juncture or particular point, where they are almost intersecting like this, drop your line like this, drop it like this. Where they intersect with the six and eight, that is this point, six, and at this point and eight, drop your mark be very careful because this line can confuse you the next one is seven seven prime you can see the seven prime goes like this up to this point but uh, at its go to this point it is intersected by the truncate by the line which is cutting it at 30 degrees so at this particular point again again drop your line like this and when you drop it you'll find it that it has intersected at this particular juncture like that so where they have intersected now with your free hand or using your French curve, you can now draw like this. Using your free hand, or draw or or, free, or, or, or uh, French curve. Now you can draw it like that. As you can see, that has intersected. So section this part because it is cut. Section it properly so that whoever is marking this exam can see. A difference between the truncated cone and like this so you see here at this particular juncture and point you've been able to do the first part of the question which that you have drawn the plan as you can see very well you have now drawn the plan and then <clears throat> the very next thing that you do or the the, the 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 next thing that you do now as you can see from this you are supposed to draw the section b part you're supposed to draw the surface development and the that part you're supposed to draw the true shape the true shape will appear at this point so let us first draw the true shape so that we can draw the surface development so the true shape is very simple to draw you you see this line this line it is 30 degrees so what we have to do we have to project these parts or this 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 section area you can see this section area we have to project it this section area we have to project it now it's such as that we, it has to go up like this then reach a point like this and reach a point like this and reach a point like this and form and form a true shape on this part so what is the next thing that you do so this is 30 degrees you will draw lines of 60 degrees projecting up from this particular point so you place your ruler like this and put your points like this so you want to project every part so you start with this point here you see this point see this point this is the first point that we use which is one prime the one prime part like this then you draw your lines like that go to the next one the next one is it is 12 and 2 prime project it up go to the next one this is the next one again here like this project it up like that go to the next one go to the next point this is the next point as you can see this is the next point again draw a line like that the next point here again draw a line like that the next point is this again draw a line like that the next point is this again draw a line like that so you can see that this 30 degrees and this 60 degrees they form a 90 degree line they form a right angle at this particular point then after that after you've been able now to achieve that we want now to trans to transfer all these measurements you see these measurements from this point to this point to form a true shape which is very simple so you will start with the very first point the very first point here it is one prime this point from this point so 
from this particular point again you'll have to measure uh, properly your measurements you'll have to do your measurements from this particular point and measure where they intersect with the line number uh, number one this is the point yeah you see that same measurement don't adjust anything stand at this particular point and make a mark like that then you can dot it like that the next line that we want to use now the next line that we want to use it is the line for 12 2 prime and 12 prime which stands at this particular point where they intersect with, with 12 then you see this is the number 12 line this is the number 12 line so this 12 line from this point here again you measure like this again adjust stand on the next line which is this at this particular point make a mark so what is this mark this mark becomes our 12 prime this is our one prime we now want the two prime you see this two prime we want it we want, because it has intersected with this number two line with the same stand at this particular point adjust it up to this point again like that you see with the same measurement don't change anything stand on this line okay make a mark at that point so what is this point this point becomes two prime the next move that you do you also want to draw 11 prime and 3 prime 11 prime and 3 line and this is the line this is their line the line is uh you can see this is the line where they intersect so at this point so be very careful so that you cannot confuse and the three prime they stand at that point so standing on the next line this is the next line there so you mark here what will leave this to be 11 prime so we want to we want to draw the three prime again the three prime is stand at this particular point like this then standing here like that you draw like that as you can see very well this becomes our three prime do it in all other sections you do it in all other sections like that so that you can now save your time this will become this now will become our 10 prime so that the other one can become our 4 prime again from this point again to, to like this this one has become our 4 prime next part the next line that we want to look at it is this this is the line so you stand in from this particular point again that is our 9 prime as you can see standing on the, this part the 9 prime again mark it like this so it comes 9 prime then standing again from this particular point measure our 5 prime this is our 5 prime so from this particular point measure there this becomes our 5 prime the next one we want to measure it is 8 and our 8 line the number 8 line is this, this line it is standing at this point be very careful please be very careful be very careful where the line that we projected you see if you follow this line like this then where we stray our straight line going down you see this is our straight line that was going down like this this is where you stand now to measure so you stand at this particular point at that line then measure the eight where the eight is intersecting at that point that same measurement stand on the next part and the next line this is the next line so on this line here again this becomes our eight double prime 9 prime, 10 prime, 11 prime, 12 prime, double, double prime, double prime, double prime, double prime. Then stand on the same, uh, the same line. You see, this was our eight. So where it, uh, it was at this point. Look for the six prime, six double prime. This is the six double prime. With the same measurement of six double prime, stand on the same line. This was our line. Then make a mark like that. So at this point, we have gotten the six double prime now you want to look for the seven prime the seven prime as you follow the line this is the line you follow it where we drew our vertical line going down this is the vertical line be very careful follow it up to where you'll see the seven this is where the seven is so stand on that vertical line this is the vertical line at this point measure the seven that is the measurement like that then stand on this number this line again like this at that particular point this one now becomes a seven double prime so again using your french curve or your hands free sketch you free sketch pencil like this you free sketch points like that then again you section your parts section your parts section your parts section them very well section them properly 
so that you may not interfere with anything. Section them, section every part, section every part, section them. That now is the number two, the number three, the Roman three. That is the true profile. Now I want to show you now how to draw the surface development. The surface development is also very simple. So follow my kindly. So take your ruler again, stand on this particular point at this juncture. You can see very well, draw a straight line like that. After you've drawn a straight line like that from this particular point, now the next thing that you do now, identify a point, just a random point from any point, as you can see here, just identify any, any random point that you want to draw. Identify just a random point, maybe at this particular point. Let this become our point O, our point of reference. Then from there, here we use a formula where we say, the formula now here yeah, we are, we want to show you how to draw now the surface development you will say radius um, let, let me write it somewhere uh, somewhere on top here you will say radius of base radius of base uh -huh, over slant height times 360 degrees to find the circumference the circumference of the circle to draw the, the, the surface development. To find the circumference so that you can draw the surface development. That is how you do it. You find the radius of the base times 360 times the slant height to find the circumference of the base. So from this point, you want to, to, to look for a way to find the circumference at which this surface development because it is a cone that you cut it into two so that you can spread it. So you want to spread this cone like this. So the very the, that is the very first step. Then the, the after you've gotten that, you take what is the radius? The radius of the base, it is 35 millimeters. It will be 35 millimeters. And then you say 35, 35 millimeters over what is the slant height? It is 80 times 360 degrees to find what we want. So to find the circumference, so it will be 35 divided by 80, that will be that, then times 360 degrees, to find it in degrees, our answer becomes 157.5 degrees. So we will draw something that is, uh, something that is 157 degrees. So again, using your ruler and using your, 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 your protractor, you stand at this particular point like this. Can stand at this particular point like this with your protractor from that reference point and then measure 157 so it will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 157 will be at this particular point this will be our 57 degrees so from there again you can now draw a straight line like this you can draw a straight line like this like that after you've drawn your straight line like that the very next thing that you do now you have now to draw uh, the circumference so yeah uh, uh, you have now to draw the the the, the surface development and uh, you will use this particular instance you will use this uh, uh, you will use a radius you lose a radius of 8.6 8.6 just a, 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 a radius of 8.6 or this radius you take this slant height from here to here that's what you use you take this measurement from here to here so that measurement that you have taken you now stand at this particular juncture like this then draw your cone will be like this this will be the cone that cone will look like that then after you've been able to establish that divide this into 12 equal parts so divide 157.5 uh, divided by 12 157 divided by 12 it will be 13.125 13.125 again dividing all through it will be very simple dividing it by 13.5 13.5 13 so it should be 10 1 2 3 point 2 at this point be at that point again standing again from from this point again you 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 so this will be 10 this will be 13 13 will be at this point 
So from here, this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Would you be at this point? So from here, this is 7. Okay, this will be our 13. Then from here again, so this is 10, 1, 2, 3, here, this is 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, will be at this point, so this is 3, 10, this particular point, this is 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 10, 1, 2, 3, this will be at this point, again, this one, you divide it again, divide this one, this will be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, it be at that point, this is 3, this is 10, again 10, 1, 2, 3, at that point, is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, at this point, then this is 3, then 13 will be at this particular point, like that. As you can see, we have divided that into 12 equal parts, again, now draw lines, again, project your lines, like this, that are passing through these points, like this project your lines like that project your lines again like that project your lines again like that project your lines again from this particular juncture again like that project your lines from this point again like that project your lines again like that project another line from this point Again like that, project another line from this point. Again like that, project another line from this particular point in juncture. Again like that, project another line from this point again like that. So you see, this is 12 points. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They must be 13 because you have counted this zero. Or you can say this will be 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 13. So the next thing that you do, the next thing that you do now, you say, now let us now, now you want to transfer this particular information now, at the service development up to this point. So the very first thing that you do, you will stand at this particular point here, and then measure, you stand at this point, then measure like this. So we want the one prime. We want to measure the one prime at this particular point. So from this point again, from this center point, you draw your mark like this. So that becomes our one prime. This is where our one prime is. Then the next one we want to measure the 12 prime and the 2 prime. So where they intersect, it is this point. Where they intersect with this line, 30 degree line, you see at this particular point, here you measure like that. So you mark here, this will be 2. And this will be our 12th prime will be at this point, at this particular point, like that. Then the next part, we want to measure this 11 and 3 prime. Where they intersect with the 30, again measure from there, you see, like that. So we stand at this particular point, again 3 and 11 at this particular point. So here and here, like that. Then the next thing we want to do, want to measure 4 and 10 where they intersect at this from the apex like that so standing at this particular juncture again where is the 10 is it 10 10 and 4 this particular point so this is the point and this is the point the next point we want to measure it is this one 9 and 5 where they intersect at this particular point so here at this point 9 and 5 this point so you see the next point you want to measure, it is, it is, uh, the next point you want to measure, it is 6 and 8, 6 and 8, that's where they intersect, the line of 6 and 8 intersects at that point, then you stand at here, then measure 8 and 6, this will be the point, and this will be the point where they intersect, the next point you want to measure is the 7 prime, and that will be now, the 7 prime will stand here, again you measure 8 from that point as you can see the one prime and the 13 prime also has to be in the same place because the number 13 it was not supposed to be number 13 it should be zero going on so from there on now you can draw your surface development using your hand sketch like this like this 
like this you can see that is how you will cut that cone that is how it looks like when it is cut and now you can maybe bold any work bold any work like that so that is the surface development there's a formula this formula be careful with it so that you can know the degree as to which you will draw your 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 cone that's how it looks like when it is cut the true shape i've shown you and i've shown you this please subscribe to my youtube channel and i will show you more about this god bless you